Wow. Holy shit. Alright, good morning. It is my last day in Minnesota today. Waking up to a little bit of a rainstorm, but that's alright. I have two weeks till I need to go to a wedding in Oklahoma. So I'm gonna zigzag down my way through the Midwest. First stop on this leg of the trip is the Apostle Islands of Wisconsin and then the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. So gotta keep moving. Let's go. All right, well, this is a spur of the moment decision, but I decided I'm gonna go on a little backpacking trip tonight. I'm here at the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore. It seems like an awesome park, perfect for boating, kayaking, anything really on Lake Superior. As you can tell, the weather is a little bit iffy for the next couple days. So if I can't go out on the water, I figured I would do a backpacking trip. It is 4.15 on Friday, September 9th right now. And it is about a six mile hike to the campsite. So I'm hoping to get there before it gets too dark, but if it does, oh well. I have my uh, flashlight and headlamp and things like that. I called the park like half an hour before I left and they were like, are you sure, are you, sure you wanna go tonight? It's like six miles away. I'm like, yeah, I'm all good. I thought this would be a perfect trip, perfect one night trail and campsite hopefully see some views of lake superior and supposedly there's awesome cliffs along the way so check those out too but yeah welcome to wisconsin this is state number 32 on my road trip about two-thirds done which is pretty crazy Well, I would guess that this park isn't very well known across the nation. There's about 20 islands. I think there's 22 of them to be exact and 10 big or major ones. Basically in the late 1800s and early 1900s, the uh, shipping industry was becoming more and more relevant. And that meant that the Midwest and the ports along Lake Superior also became more prominent. Seems like the rain is starting to pick up a tad, but I'm also partially covered by uh, the trees and everything. Wearing mostly non-cotton material, so I should be fine. And I packed plenty of clothes, even though it's just overnight. Got like three socks and underwear, just in case. My pack isn't that full, and so it actually fits worse when it is empty. It's almost better when it's full, even though it's heavier. So it does feel a little awkward. That's why I kind of just through a bunch of gear and extra clothes. You got the white knuckles holding on a tie, keeping your feelings bottled up inside, heading for a collision in the night. To really live, you gotta die. Breathe in, breathe out. Hey, come, come, come alive. Breathe in. Yeah. 
things out Deep underneath all the leaves of your doubts There's a heart gone out of rhythm In despair Hell underwater Fire for it Breathe in Breathe out Hey, come, come, come Breathe in Amazing. This view is incredible. It just looks like an ocean. Basically is. World's largest lake. And it definitely has a mind and a soul of its own. One minute, three foot waves, a couple hours later, could be like glass. Seems like it's uh, calming down a little bit. And I think the weather is supposed to clear up just a tad the next couple days. Just a, a beautiful views of this vast lake. It's pretty incredible. You got the white knuckles holding on a tie Keeping your feels bottled up inside Heading for a collision in the night To really live you gotta die absolutely wild it might be pretty hard to tell from the gopro actually at the very bottom of the cliffs where the water and the waves meet there are these circular bowl-shaped figures kind of that are carved out of the rock once again that's all the water eroding the side of the cliff but it's interesting that sometimes it happens in these bowl shapes it keeps going inland and it can create these like cave-like features or ravines where it splits the land. This park is known for its islands, obviously, the Potsdam Islands, but it's also famous for kayaking the mainland where you can go into these uh, sea cave-like features. Probably pretty dangerous if it's bad weather. You can definitely hear the waves echoing as they hit the walls of the caves under there. Pretty cool. I wonder if I can get down a little. I think there's only one island you can actually see from this western part of the Apostle Islands. You can only see one small island further northwest, I believe. The deep bellow of the water hitting the cliffs are very resounding. It's very interesting walking on this type of terrain too because you're walking on top of the cliffs but also it almost feels like it's hollow the ground is just built up vegetation dirt leaves all sorts of sediment but every once in a while your stepping feels a little bit hollow <laughs> honestly i'm kind of hoping that the rain continues until i find my campsite and pitch my tent because i don't want the rain to stop and the wind to die down because then the bugs might come out a little bit there might be a few more mosquitoes wow amazing look at this view
Okay, I'm about an hour and 20 minutes into my hike and I'm starting to veer inland and I'm definitely hiking in thicker vegetation further away from the shoreline of the lake. So there are a few more bugs, but it really isn't too bad yet, knock on wood. I've traveled 2.7 miles in the first hour and 20 minutes, just about right on two miles an hour. So if it's four and a half miles to the campsite and I have about two more miles to go, it should take about an hour. So I should get there between 6.30 and 7. And I have plenty of time to kind of get situated. Hopefully check out a view or a beach before the sun goes down. This trail is definitely well maintained through the viewpoints of the cliffs, but now I'm past that area and the trail is a lot narrower and I'm hitting leaves on both sides every time I step. So <laughs> my pants are gonna be soaked. I don't have a map or anything. I do have the national parks map that shows the general overview of the whole park, but I don't have a zoomed in one or topographic or anything, but I am tracking myself on my GPS. So it should be fine. And I always know the lake will be to my west Right now, my left, if I'm heading back, my right. But I'm really enjoying this trail, and I'm glad I'm doing this. It's the perfect overnight trip. Looking forward to a cool campsite. Don't do it. Not a blueberry. I can actually see what I think is a lighthouse way in the distance, either on another island or another point of the mainland, which I think it is. I think it's just the mainland. I can see somewhat of a tall structure poking above the trees. You know, once again, I doubt the GoPro can really pick it up. This has got to be one of the coolest settings that I've camped in so far. This is uh, <laughs> absolutely breathtaking.
All right, good morning. Slept pretty well last night. It's nice to have a bed of grass to lay on with this mat. It might even be better than my truck sleeping on the wood platform. This will be the last time on the beach, Lake Superior. Got to savor these last moments and then uh, head out. Check this out. This is where I slipped yesterday coming down this hill. I don't think I was filming, but you can see my streak mark on the ground. 